hood nigga running properties and businesses Just hope the truth get told by those who got to witness it When them times get hard, never fold up It's too much money to be made, what's the hold up? They ask me how I do it like you know what Soon as I drop some game, they like, so what? So basically, I focus on my goal to mow dope come. While looking at new lucrative investments as I roll some. How you ballin' if you don't own nothing? Angel on my shoulder in my ear like buy some land, dummy. Wisdom is the ways to these better days. See your life getting better, now you on your way. Ownership clothing, ownership the slogan. Let them all hate, get paid, and keep going. The blessings didn't come until I put it all in motion. Ain't no joking when surrounded by the hopeless. Nigga, I've been on my grind trying to make it out. I can't let this bullshit take me out. Go hard to eight numbers in my bank account. Aim high and stay focused on my paper route. I've been on my grind trying to make it out. Bully fam, bully fam, what it do? TVK West back with another video. Yes, sir, man. And today's video, yo, hey, uh, like I told y'all before, we had a little issue uh, with Mr. C Mac, y'all, and I told you his legs was bent back. I wish I had a picture, man. It used to hurt me so bad, I didn't want to take a picture, but let me try to describe his issue, man. All right, so look. My dude's legs, the back legs, they was like bent backwards like a boomerang, bro. Like this, see this little knuckle right here? Like they didn't have the knuckle, fam. The, the, the legs, they didn't have the knuckle. It was, it did not bend. It was just completely straight, like a boomerang, like a, you know what I mean? Like a comma. So, in my mind, I'm thinking this is genetics. I'm thinking that this is just a genetic issue. Um, it's nothing you could do. One of the parents has some genetic problems. You dig? And once I looked it up and tried to, um, you know, figure out how that came about and all that, guess what, y'all? And then also, I did a little bit of research on YouTube also, man. And uh, same thing, man. It's, it was from malnourishment, bro. Yes, malnourishment. You know what I mean? Um, Y'all didn't really get to see C-Mac, how bad his condition was. But as I'm watching other dog channels, I see it's a few dogs um, have this issue as well. But it's mainly just in the Frenchie. Uh, maybe, probably Bulldog also. But I, I ain't never seen it in the Bulldog. But... It's mainly in the Frenchie and the exotic bully uh, categories where those dogs are suffering from this issue, man. Now, the malnourishment part. Uh, the dogs, bro. The part that they're... All right, so look. As breeders, man, we don't let the dogs go out as much. We don't walk them as much as we're supposed to. I know I don't. You know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to walk the dogs as much. They have this uh, stuff that they gotta exercise bro the dogs have to exercise if they in the cage too long you know you might be busy you might be at work you might got stuff you gotta do uh but if you are too busy man um what you can do to help this issue well actually regardless man whether you walk your dog or not regardless bro to fix this issue it would take uh glu glucosamine glucosamine i think that's what it's called glu glucosamine i put the word on the screen right here and also man the most important thing is vitamin D, bro. Vitamin D. For those who don't know, you know, you get the vitamin D from the sun, man. So, dogs being in the kennel all day, no sunlight, you know what I'm saying? No exercise, you can get this issue to develop. Where it could also be in the front, too. You know what I'm saying? You might see a dog where the, it might have a little bent wrist or something, or something like the knuckle might poke out. All of this, all of this stuff is from lack of exercise and malnourishment bro and so the things that i'm gonna do from now on guys i'm gonna start uh implementing puppy vitamins man and into my regimen i never really used to do that you know what i'm saying uh based on the dog foods that we use you know what i'm saying you never know uh every dog food is lacking something man a real smart dog breeder has a nice little mix that he puts together you know what i'm saying maybe two three four different dog foods but uh, at the end of the day, one dog food ain't gonna cut it. It's gonna be lacking something. You feel me? So you can't just feed the dog dog food in the uh, in the growing stages, in the early stages. You know, puppy dog food is supposed to have a lot in it. But this is what I'm giving the puppies from now on. Uh, as far as it's a liquid form, and they have a, a little chewable form. This is two different vitamins. Uh, I'm gonna show you a real common one. This is the most common right here. They knocked it on the floor. Hold on. 
I'm sure y'all familiar with this one. It's the most common one right here. This is the same thing, just a different brand. Basically, basically these are high calorie Nutri gels, man. They, they're in a gel form. I just put a little bit on each, each puppy's nose and they was going crazy. If y'all wondering why they keep getting in my face, it's because I gave them a little taste of this. You know what I'm saying? The dogs love it. But the reason why is this has vitamin D in it, guys. You know what I'm saying? We also got an uh, organic alternative as well. That's this brand. I got it from Chewy.com. It's a multivitamin. Y'all can see that. Yeah, man. And this one is all organic, all natural uh, ingredients. You know what I'm saying? For those who want to keep it all organic this is a good brand right here man and uh yeah um when i was watching the dog channels on youtube uh, a while back maybe two a year or two ago i saw uh mr mk bull shout out mk bulls um they showed their uh the pup what they put in their puppy mush and it consisted of you know some amoxicillin antibiotics and also um a bunch of other stuff uh y'all i don't even know the name of that video but y'all go ahead and see if y'all can find that man and uh that boy put some some stuff in there but one of the ingredients he put in there was uh, uh a puppy vitamin in that mix it was a puppy vitamin you know what i'm saying and that's very helpful man it'll save you a whole lot of extras in the um in the long run man uh, as far as joint joint problems but yes sir man um I had to share that with y'all, man, because it was kind of tripping me out. I thought it was like a genetic issue. I thought it was something that just keeps getting passed down and it's something, you know what I mean? It's not, y'all. It is not a genetic issue. If you have a dog that's suffering from these uh, this boomerang legs, frog legs is what I call them, um, it was basically because uh, he was just a little malnourished, man. He didn't get all the vitamins as a pup. and. Uh, or exercise most importantly he didn't get his enough exercise to keep those joints going and, and, and growing properly you see so for everybody out there that was wondering that man i was wondering too man i didn't know so i just wanted to share that with y'all man so let's do a uh let's do a little update on um on the kennel bro um really not much change but Give y'all a little update on the setup, man. You know, maybe you're new to the channel. So uh, let's get to it. Let me put them back right quick, y'all. All right, Billy fam. So look, this cage, I bought this cage right before I had uh, stopped doing YouTube. But uh, yeah, man, I love this cage right here. This is, uh, this, this cage costs $250. This is a four by four, I think. Nah, it's smaller than that, but this is an upgraded version of my old cages y'all know i used to have the rabbit cages uh this is way more sturdier and thicker man i got it from scrappy's scrappy's pet supplies y'all can see right there um i have the two slide out trays this cage right here bro can can hold some evs or something this cage is sturdy enough for super big ass you know what I mean? For everybody who got bullies, this is the one you want, bro. 250 bucks. Um, they offer 290 in Houston. They do ship also, man. Uh, dude said the shipping fees ain't cheap. That was the same issue that the Bully Camp product store was having too. Cause they have, they got some pretty good quality cages, man. When I was in Cali, right before I moved out there, I bought about 10 of them bad boys and took them with me, man. But that was back when they was like, 160 170 now they two something but anyway um yeah man so that's the up, update right here this cage bro this this cage is this the one you want man straight up uh the reason why i even said that y'all i know y'all thinking like where i could just get it from anywhere this cage is uh always uh out of stock man oh you can go on amazon you can go to chew you can go anywhere it's always out of stock you gotta go straight to Alibaba to get this unless you get lucky and st stumble upon scrappies like I did, man. So, also, man, uh, I added a, a mini split, man. Mini split, this is a 1.5 ton, uh, you know what I mean? That's like the bare minimum, you know, the average probably a two ton. I paid 1300 for them to install this and everything. Everything out the door was 1300 man. If you're in the 
Houston area. You know what I'm saying? I can shoot your old boy number, take care of you. You know what I mean? Mini split, mini split. Um, I've been, it's not really nothing, but I just wanna let y'all know. I've been using this right here, using this. Good old salmon oil to get Effie's hair back, man. And uh, as y'all can see, it's, it's damn near back. I give her, I said 10 days. It's only been about four, but uh, we'll see how long it really takes. But that hair is definitely growing back. And uh, yeah, man, pretty much that's it. Y'all see, I still got the progesterone machine, man. I feel like I mastered this bad boy, man. I'm surgical with this bitch, Jake. Real talk, man. For anybody who got this machine, the Fine Care Vet, um, I've had the greatest success um, at breeding two days after a 10. Based on my knowledge, based on my experiences, this machine tells you your females ovulate. Your females ovulating when you get around 10, man. So if you wait, everybody knows if you wait two days after ovulation the eggs will be mature that's the best day to hit so if you get a 10 two days after 10 good to hit you get a 13 15 good to go bro guaranteed she gonna take guaranteed brother you know what i'm saying this is not an idex machine if you start trying to breed on a five or something like that or something small you might come up short brother you know what i mean but yeah i love this machine it's a1 comes through for me i feel like all my females take when i use it and uh i do all my ai's guys if you're new to the channel i, I, I ain't did no surgicals in a while i ain't did nothing like that all ai's man so this machine definitely comes through for me man yes sir i pay like three thousand for it or something like that yes indeed yes indeed but pretty much that's it man let's get to the backyard right quick man let's get a quick little you know, I'm gonna show y'all this dude every video, but uh, yeah, let's go take a look at this bad boy right quick, man. Y'all hold tight. All right, Bully fam, we out here. Man, I got my boy, young boy, backyard, so y'all can get a better, closer view of this young man right here, man. Um, I wanna start this conversation off with like, um, you know, we got, you know, different types of dogs, different types of breeders and stuff like that, y'all, but, um, you know, we got people who chase trends, and we got people who try to create their own dogs, man. Now, don't get me wrong, man. When you chase trends, you will make a lot of money, bro. You know what I'm saying? I've seen the Merle era, the Isabella era, Fluffy, Big Rope, all that stuff. Y'all seen it. Um, if you can get ahead of the trend, if you can take advantage of the trend within the first year or two, then you'll you'll make a lot of money bro you know what i'm saying and uh the trend following the trends is like i said having something before everybody else has it you know what i'm saying the first people to have fluffies made a lot of money first people to have pinks are making a lot of money first people to have as isabella's made a lot of money the reason why i say all that guys is this dog right here is the complete opposite of that okay the complete opposite this dude represents not following trends being your own man creating your own shit you know what i mean that's what this dog represents right here no name chasing you know what i mean look at that thick rear thick ass neck thick ass arms bro yes uh now there is another breeder out there who inspired me to even like think like this you know what I'm saying? Most of the time it's inspired by lack of finances, but it's a dude out there, y'all. Um, I forgot his name, but he uh, owns a bully kennel named Extreme Bloodlines. And if you guys go to his Instagram and check out his dogs, that man basically created his own Frenchies, his own Extreme Frenchies. You know what I mean? Um, he's definitely got a name for himself now. A long time ago, a long time ago, this dude, I say maybe five years ago, this dude was charging 7000 for a stuff fee for one of his blue extremes. So, 
I'm not sure how much they are now, but just think about that, y'all. That man built his shit up, started with his own stuff, you know what I'm saying? And uh, made it up to 7K stuff fees. You know what I'm saying? It was very commendable and respectable. And like I said, it was it was inspiring for me, man. And uh, I was like, yo, let's see what we can do, man. Because I was doing this with the bullies, man, creating different dogs and stuff. And it was really like a turn off for me because, you know, your products can go any which way as far as how they're going to come out. So I was just like, yeah, man. Uh, we're just gonna make this a lot easier for ourselves, you know what I mean? But when it came to this, y'all know I got a color side and an extreme side. So when it comes to the extreme side, it's no really no pressure. It's not like I'm, you know, trying to get bread off of the dogs and stuff like that. This is just me. This is pure creation, soul creation. This is just me creating what my vision is what I like I haven't came up with a name yet y'all you know what I'm saying got my man over there Extreme Bloodlines we got the Grinchies I'm not sure about the story about the Grinchies y'all if y'all know the story about the Grinchies y'all go ahead and leave a comment or somebody drop a comment explaining how the uh, Grinchy line started or whatever but yeah, man, I'm not sure what I should call this dude. What should I call, uh, should I call it the gorilla line or something? I'm gonna come up with something, man, all right? Definitely created my own line. And uh, I got one more generation to uh, solidify this creation, man. So, yes, sir. Uh, and uh, Mr. Youngboy is up for stud. He has no children on the ground, guys. No children on the ground, so. His stuff fee is 500 right now, 500. Yes, sir. I said this a long time ago on the videos. Have a couple people lock in. You know what I'm saying? I think the other dude who locked in here, he's waiting on a female. Or I think he had to buy a puppy or something like that. But yeah, slots are still open, man. You know what I mean? Before, you had to have a little wisdom to drop that 500. You had to be able to foresee what was about to take place. Now you can see what's taking place, man. You can see what it is. Worth every bit of your $500, man. You know what I'm saying? Man. Breeders, breeders out there, you know, I don't discriminate. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm with, I'm all about helping other kennels get their shit up, but try bro try to make sure you bring a thick female bro you know what i mean a lot of people do that in the bully gang as well they'll like take a badass male to like a regular female and expect to get the best results you know what i'm saying you gotta have a little thickness on that female man if you're trying to create some monsters <laughs> this dude's mom wasn't the you know the most extreme wasn't the crazy thickest but she wasn't a reindeer, you know what I mean? So, yes, sir. But yeah, Bully fam, I'm gonna let y'all get some footage of this young man on the ground real quick. And then, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up, man. Yes, sir, it's TBK West, man. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content, man. You know what I mean? Leave a comment, bro. And uh, I'm out of here. Peace.